on this episode of Deep Fried What, we got us some Ikea food. Bitches, we're gonna start out with some cinnamon buns. Next, we have some Swedish meatballs. Finally, some veggie cakes. Today, we're gonna make our usual batter, which is based off of a tempura, all-purpose flour, rice flour, uh, white rice flour to be exact, salt, baking soda, cornstarch, paprika, club soda. And we mix. Starting off with cinnamon buns. Let's do this. Deep fried water. I really thought these were pretzels before we cooked them. They do look like they got <laughs> like chunks of sea salt on them. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's actually like frosting-ish stuff. Weird. Yeah. Lofi is, um, let's say he's out of town for this episode. Unfortunately, you won't get Lofi's reviews. But hey, you got us two jerk heads, so I hope that's enough. All right, let's uh, dunk, dunkaroo. Dunkaroo. Dunkarooski, there's number one. I am going to make little uh, meatball dumbbells. Yeah, things, see? Though. These are pretty much the, you know, number one thing I think of Beep. when I think of um, Ikea. Here goes <laughs> one. Here goes two. Whoop. Vegetable cakes. I don't, need, I don't know what, there's green in there. I think they're like maybe a, a, a vegetable quiche or sort of deal. Do they have eggs in them? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I didn't read the the, the ingredients. I think it's like potato and like onion and spinach or something. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. Squish. Squish. Let's get oh, one that more thing of is those fucking going. heavy. Yeah. All right. Everything is going. You can tell there was some sugar in there because of how brown that batter yeah, is. Yeah, that one brown in pretty good. Dumbbells look like they're done too. <laughs> Those went fast. There's not much girth to these, so. Hey, why you gotta be so judgy? Hey, you know what? This looks like a muffin now. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> a big old pile of fried food from IKEA. Ingmar would be proud. Ooh, that's a crunchy batter. I'll say. And that's a dull knife, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that looks uh, pretty decent. I can smell like the sweet and the cinnamon out of there, so. It kind of makes me wonder how the paprika and stuff's yeah. gonna go in this. <laughs> that it didn't like put pepper and crap in there. Yeah. That's really good. You can tell that the batter's a little bit more savory. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it doesn't like super detract. That's a decent little cinnamon roll thing. Yeah, actually, the last time I was at Ikea, I saw a guy go to the loading bay, where you're not supposed to go inside of, and he walks in right to the little cafeteria where you can get these. He like goes to the exit. He buys like... two, and then leaves. He cheated the system just to get two of these fucking things. I think they're better than some of the, uh, like, the little Debbies and, uh, Hostess Ooh, crap that we've done. Wow. So, I've, I mean, uh, cinnamon rolls are delicious, right? They're fantastic. I never would have thought of even like putting a crusty outside on one for deep frying, but wow, it really works. It really works well. Cause the, the roll is always like just a kind of a squishy gooey mess. But then when you add that extra texture element, it works fantastically. Not to mention these things are flavored perfectly. They're delicious. If we had focused that batter to more of a dessert batter, mm -hmm. star. But it is definitely at least a check plus. These are the classic, the classic, classic Swedish, Swedish meatball. Swedish meatball. And we did try these uh, prior just to get a baseline. They taste like a Swedish meatball. Yeah. So, I would hope IKEA could <laughs> get that down. <laughs> There's no reason that should be that good. <laughs> Because like when we tried them before, they were cold, right? Yeah. They're just like they're not they're not hot, but they're still hot enough that like the greases and stuff are still. God damn it! That's really good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to actually give that a star. Oh, star! Ingmar. Like the the batter's not as crispy as what it was on the uh, the bun, but that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. God damn it! We should have done more of those. <laughs> those are really fucking good. <laughs> Get your gains, bro. Pump your guns, bruh! Mm. Yeah! Gotta get my proats. Those, like, 
0.3 ounce curls. <laughs> I can see what we're always talking about. For some reason, having that extra layer of like salty goodness on the outside of these is like fucking perfect. Like flavor bombs, man. I want to say the meatball almost has a similar flavor to a Vienna sausage for some reason. <laughs> like somewhere between Vienna sausage and almost spammy, but like... It's not that salty. It's the salt on the outside that's adding that extra element that makes it that salty. <laughs> All right, kids. Next New Year's, when you're making a batch of meatballs, deep fry them. And finally. <laughs> All right, we got our uh, uh, <laughs> vegetable cake. That we're still not exactly sure what yeah, they're made out of. I don't know what this is. So there's broccoli in there. Uh, definitely broccoli. It looks, it's so messy. I can't tell what they... I think those are onions overall volume of that is it might be cauliflower oh it could be cauliflower yeah it actually smells really good <laughs> okay there's definitely onions <laughs> and broccoli and i want to say it's held together with potato potato oh, okay i think <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that is cauliflower. I don't know! <laughs> it's really good, but I don't oh. know what the fuck is in this other than the broccoli, because that you can actually tell the broccoli. It has strange and exotic Swedish vegetables in it. I'm going to give this a check. Okay, okay. It'd that... probably get a star if I actually knew what was in it. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you did you like better, that or the uh, Swedish meatball? Swedish meatball. Okay. Swedish meatball, star of the show. Yes. Oh my god. I want to say potato. But there's actually, there's also like a binder in there that has sort of a cheesy flavor to it. So these taste like loaded fucking hash browns. They're, oh my god, it's so good. I know Wero was reluctant to give this a star, but I'm giving it a star. <laughs> so what have we learned on today's episode? Ikea, for some reason, the Swedish flat pack... Furniture company sells some pretty decent food in the freezer section. <laughs> the company that has caused so many divorces by trying to put together a chair. I don't get it. You don't get it. Just shut up and eat it. That's what I'm saying. This has been Deep Fried What? Please like, share, subscribe. Check us out next week where we deep fry more IKEA food items. Now, thanks for watching.